What up guys, that comic awesome here doing another review, doing the Curse of Brimstone number two. And what a disappointment this series has been. Um, and I say that so unfortunately because look how awesome this cover is. I mean, this cover looks creepy. It looks ominous. Um, it looks... If I were just picking this up based, like I would pick this up and be like, yeah, this looks awesome. I'll pick it up in the comic shop, run with it. Um, unfortunately, the the writing in this is very subpar. Um, you know, you have, uh, was it Joe? I can't even remember his name, it's so boring. Um, but he is turned into brimstone because he made pretty much a deal with the devil, devil Johnny Blaze style, uh, to turn his know nothing town into somewhere somewhere more inhabitable for the company that this uh, that the salesman works for. Um, and he's like, no, I'm, I'm gonna fight it. You know, he's like, well, and then this is what I don't get. He's like, I know, I'm gonna fight it. And he's like, well. You know, you can stop, you know, but you can't undo, and eventually, we're going to get what we want. So then he's able to transform back from being Brimstone after he's pretty much torched the whole town. Um, he wakes up in bed, and this was one of the things where I was like, uh, poor, poor writing and bad editing. You have... This scene, one, so he no wakes up, you kind of get a you know glimpse. He's obviously in bed naked, but so this is his sister. He's like, okay, okay, I'm home. You're home, Joe. Just calm down, okay? And tell me what the hell happened. So he, she asked him a question, what the hell happened? And then she goes on to explain what happened after you didn't come home last or after you didn't come home from your cool down I guess that's what all the kids are doing nowadays uh, I went out looking for you I figured your truck probably gave up the ghost and I want it see and again there's punctuation is key here I'm gonna read this the way it's written I figured your truck probably gave up the ghost and I wanted to find you before you froze your stupid ass to death. There should be like a comma. Gave up the ghost. Like is that a saying? Or is the ghost. Like is it gave up? Like the truck gave up? You know, I, I don't I don't know like how that's. That's such a run on sentence. But it needless to say. Uh, apparently. this whole, The whole town. Except for his sister. Uh, burned. And then froze. Um, you know, and, and he essentially, you know, kind of gets scared. He kind of brimstones up. And he's like, do you believe me? Like, and she's like, uh, yeah, I believe you. You know, this. And he kind of. He goes into this really short. I don't know if it's like an off panel conversation. But then his sister's like totally caught up on the whole thing. Um, another thing I don't understand too is like, she talks about like, really calmly, she's like, what happened? You weren't, you know, did you try and burn your bed down? You know, your bed's all charred, which if you're going to make that kind of statement, it's like, at least show me like, are those chars? Like show like some flames or something on the bed. It just, it feels like this book, like it was, it was thought at in like a a room and they're like how can we do something edgy and like you know what's a really edgy character and they're like ghost rider how can we kind of make our own ghost rider you know and it's like i just i can't get behind joe he's just so whiny and he's just like a whiny so whiny kid like i, I don't want to protect my sister but then so then he you know he brimstones out uh, he fights the Hound, which is not the Hound from uh, Game of Thrones. It's like this ice demon. So essentially, 
uh, and they find out that this is not the first time this has happened, that there are places um, all over the country, small towns no one's ever heard of that, you know, all of a sudden vanish where it's not always the same, but like one gets, uh, you know, all the inhabitants become cannibals, uh, one gets flooded, you know, other stuff happens, you know, obviously the hound, you know, can freeze stuff. So there's obviously other of these like demons, you know, they call them agents out there and each one has kind of their own abilities even though obviously uh, Brimstone uh, is the coolest. You know, and <laughs> so he says, you know, or uh, the hound kind of was talking to him. He's like, you have power without skill, strength without will. That makes you vulnerable, which is uh, makes a lot of sense. And she kind of slashes at him and he's like, you hurt me. Like, it's like you're fighting another demon, dude. Like. You got to give it your all. Like, you're such a... You're just like a, the whiniest kid. Um, I don't... I just... I don't even know if I can continue this. Like, it's just there's nothing to it. At least in... At least with um, Immortal Men. That's another one of the New Age books that I... You know, I trashed a little bit. And, you know, some people... You know, are like, well, you got to keep an open mind about it. At least that one, the um, the main character, again, I can't remember his name, he seems interesting. Joe seems like a whiny, whiny little kid who just, you know, didn't get his way, wants to, wants to be free of his town, and I'm just a townie, and I can't get out, and blah, 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 this and that, and I want a free ride, I want to do this, and then he makes a deal with the devil, and look what happens. Bad things happen. Um... Like most things, I'll give it an arc. I'll give it the rest of this arc, um, and we'll see how it goes. But I do not have high hopes for this. Um, but that's my thought. Subscribe over here, watch some more videos, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.